from Indy Streaming News Leader. This is a WRTV update. And I'm Lauren Casey. These are your latest headlines. Indiana State Police are investigating a shooting that happened on I-70. The gunfire was reported last night near the Shadeland Avenue exit. Investigators say a passenger in the back seat of a car was critically wounded when someone inside another car fired shots at them. The driver of the targeted car suffered minor injuries from shrapnel. Police say that a third person in the car left the scene before officers arrived and say the shooter drove away. The trial for the man accused of killing a Southport police officer in 2017 continues this morning. Prosecutors say 32 year old Jason Dane Brown shot and killed Lieutenant Aaron Allen. The defense is scheduled to start presenting its case. The police officer stopped to help Brown following a crash on Friday. A judge dismissed a life in prison without parole enhancement against Brown. Brown faces up to 65 years in prison if he's convicted. Developing overnight, one man is in custody following a police chase that started on the southeast side of the city and ended in Monrovia. Metro police tell us that the chase started near South Keystone and East Raymond Street. Investigators say a white SUV was stolen. Another vehicle involved in the chase hit stop sticks that were put out by police. Police have not said whether anyone was injured. Let's get a check right now for our forecast with meteorologist Todd Glossin. All right, high temperatures today will range from the low to mid 20s in northern locations to right around freezing in Indy and then <coughs> slightly above freezing in uh, southern locations with skies that will be partly to mostly sunny. This evening, if you have Valentine's Day plans, we cool off very quickly into the 20s and eventually the teens. And tomorrow morning, it's a cold start to our day as many of you will wake to temperatures in the teens. But tomorrow we start to turn the page much warmer in the afternoon with highs that will be in uh, the mid 40s with partly to mostly cloudy skies by Wednesday. High temperatures could be approaching 60 degrees. Todd, for more stories and weather you need to know, download the WRTV mobile app. Thanks for joining us.